are genetically modified crops unsustainable in the Indian context? That's what petitioners against the sowing of genetically modified mustard have argued in the Supreme Court. Adding that the companies holding the patent for GM crops are themselves testing the viability of these crops. Genetically modified crops have led to intense debates in the country for a while, with some farmers and activists not wanting the GM mustard crop to be grown in the country, while some pro-GM farmers have said that a ban on the GM technology would worsen the plight of farmers, as the old method of farming has proved to be a failure in dry regions of India. So, what exactly is the way forward? Why are transgenic crops, which are supposed to be substantially increasing yield, being opposed? The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee, India's top regulator of genetically modified plants and food products, had earlier approved the environmental release of Dhara Mustard Hybrid 11. This is a genetically engineered variant of mustard that scientists hope could provide India with a vital source of cooking oil. Activists against GM crops have claimed that this decision was not scientifically rigorous and alleged that the potential impact of the GM mustard crop on the rest of the environment had not been properly studied including inadequate tests on the impact of GM mustard on bees and other pollinators. The claim that GM mustard will increase yield is not supported by the data submitted by the crop developers to the regulator, Alliance for Sustainable and Holistic Agriculture said. However, the government has told the Supreme Court that GM mustard will contribute to reducing India's dependence on imported cooking oil and will take the country closer to food security and self-sufficiency. Increased domestic production of edible oil due to deployment of GM mustard hybrids will reduce the dependency on other exporting countries, the government said in an affidavit. Many scientists have also welcomed the decision by the regulator. Experts say that the approval paves the way for the application of genetic modification to many other crops, which could lower their cost. The United States is the leading producer of GM food crops in the world, growing maize, soybean and potato among others, followed by Brazil and Argentina. So far, India has approved only one other GM crop for commercial cultivation, GM cotton in 2002. In 2009, the regulator cleared transgenic eggplant for evaluation, but that was stalled after a rather strong public backlash and the recommendations of eggplant growing Indian states. Will India's rising population reluctantly rely on genetically modified crops in the future? If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.